I don't know why I keep dreaming about John McBain. Well, he was a man who you thought you had a future with. He hurt you. He left you for dead, so it's really no mystery why well, you might have a nightmare no, about No, no, but that's the thing. That's... it's what's so bizarre. Even though you told me over and over again that he tried to kill me and, and that he's the reason I'm in this bed with no memory. <clears throat> in my dream, I wasn't afraid of him the slightest. And you know what else? I remembered something. You say you remembered something? Lee. He showed me the picture of Johnny as if it were a good thing. When I get agitated, he handed me the picture as if he thought it would make me happy. That, that remembering John would help me to get well. Sure, you were in a pretty bad way then. I'm sure Lee was desperate to help you get better. No, but... So he shows me the picture of a man who wants me dead? He didn't have a, rem a memory, so... so. I'm sure he figured that showing you a picture of happier times would... No, no, no. Would... See, it, okay, it doesn't make sense. It could have had the complete opposite effect. I, I could, it could have triggered paranoia or terror. Lee Ramsey was not the brightest bulb in the circuit. <laughs> not as brilliant as you, Doctor. Yes, but he was an FBI agent. He would have known better. No, it's, it's as if he thought that me thinking about John would have some kind of curative effect. But you've told me just the opposite. You know... If you want to be with John McBain, that's fine with me. You be my guest, I won't stop you. <laughs> After everything you've told me, how could I want to be with John McBain? Why would you even say that? Seems like you're doubting me. No, I'm not doubting you. I, I'm just trying to put it all together, and it's hard sometimes. I, I don't understand, but. Last night we danced, so we had fun. You want to tell me what's happened between now and then? What are you going to do when, when Marty gets better and crawls out of that cocoon that you built for her and, you know, she finds out the truth and then she's going to hate you? You're not a prisoner here, you know. You can go anytime you want. With whoever you want. I won't stop you. What does it have to do with what we're talking about? You know, in fact, here's a phone. Use my phone. Call someone if you want. It's okay. You know I have no one to call. You told me my parents are dead. I have no family. I have no children. Oh, I'm sorry. Jessica, your niece, yeah. She knows me, but there's something about her I really didn't trust. But I trust you. I'm sure you could learn to trust someone else. <laughs> yeah, sure I could. Would you look at me? Look at me! I don't remember a thing before my accident. Oh, no, I do. Wait. I was in love with a man. Oh, but wait again. He wants me dead. What do you think? Do you think I should head out into the world when I don't know who's who and what's what and, and I can't defend myself? Is that what you want? Of course not. I want to protect you. Oh, now, take it easy. Jeez. What are you doing? <laughs> you and Janet are the only two people I can trust. So take your phone, I don't want it. That's not how I want it. Then what do you want? I want... I want you to be here with me. But not because you have to be, because you want to be. Okay, I don't have a lot of choices. And I don't have anyone else I can turn to. But even if I did, I wouldn't leave. You don't know that. I do know that I don't feel like a prisoner here. Nothing could be further from the truth. How do you feel? <gasps> I 
<laughs> happy, I'm happy. I actually look forward to you coming through that door. I don't... I don't want to be with anyone else. I don't need anyone else, Todd. <laughs> just want you. That's good. So you want to be here. What makes you think... What made you think I didn't... No, doesn't matter. You're just so different today. Did somebody say something to you? Someone did, someone did a real number on you. No, I had a... Just hit a low point, you know. That's all. But you cured it. Mm -hmm. Any other lingering questions I can answer? Hmm. Well. No. Go ahead, tell me. Tell me. It's just, uh, This whole thing, you and me together here. And planning to raise my grandkid, I just wonder if you still think it's fantasy. It's no fantasy. It's not gonna come crashing down. You know, confusing dreams about John McBain or, or memories of what Lee may or may not have thought. But I can't change how I feel about you. Mm. So even if I could crawl or walk or fly out of here, I wouldn't. I mean, the, this house, you know, Jen, you, the baby. It's my life now, and it's real. What you and I have is real. 